And to my nephew Clive, son of my beloved departed brother, whom I've undertaken to raise as a son of my own, inasmuch as he has always led a simple, virtuous life, and because it is my wish that he continue to do so, I bequeath to him an additional income of $5,000 a year for the rest of his life. Uh, yeah, there must be some mistake, Dan. Uh, there, there must be some more zeros. No. Um, a, a, a comma? <laughs> to my beloved daughter, Rose, burdened as she is with cares and responsibilities, I bequeath the remainder of my estate which includes Monaghan's department store, estimated worth $10 million. No! If, and only if, her husband, Monty, can reform himself in one year. Well, what kind of reform are you talking about? There is a codicil attached to the will, Mr. Capaluti. Uh, Capaletti. Mr. Capaletti, which lists the activities which are to be proscribed. That is, the things you must refrain from. <clears throat> no smoking. No philandering. No gambling. No drugs. No alcohol. No alcohol? Well, does that go for beer, too? Certainly. And you must weigh not more than 175 pounds. Uh, question. Assuming Monty can't reform, <laughs> perish the thought. Oh. And you get the money? Ah, forget about it. I'm not doing it. You're right. Forget it. No! Daddy, come <laughs> on! You can do it! It's ten million dollars! Melinda. Oh, and Mr. Capaluti, should you decide to accept these terms, remember, we'll be watching you. <laughs> 